Okay, I am over here at uh, 91 Crescent Street. Um, Crescent Street is over by, like, over by the um, dance place, the Saratoga National Arts and Dance. Um, the only bad thing about the front of this road is, see that right there? Got an apartment complex right there. Um, but it's not like it's right in your view. Let's go take a look inside this home. This is the one that was also on the higher end. I have to go through this one quick because there's another showing, so. Sorry that this wasn't already done, but anyways. Nice hallway, this is a laminate floor. Right to the left you have the staircase. Um, they're Irish, they have Irish stuff everywhere. Here's your living room. It's got a Berber carpet. Good space. Roof looked fairly new. Here's your dining room. Small little dining room. I should get a lot of stuff in here. And this goes right to your kitchen. It's got older cabinets, but everything seems to be in really good shape. No dishwasher, but where that trash can is, is the space that you'd insert one, so it's easy to put one in. And you have an eating area right off the kitchen. Backyard is all fenced in. Um, it's pouring outside, so I apologize. It's a narrow, shallow yard, but not bad. You do see your neighbor's house right there, but that's okay. Closet space behind the stairs, and here's to your one car garage. Let's see if I can find a little light. Here. Okay, well, you can't see. There's no, the light's not working. But it's a one car garage with access to the backyard. Sorry, but at least you can hear my comments. Um, Looks like it's an older woman, possibly. First floor, half bath right here. Some old green tile floor. I noticed that it um, has electric. So the one negative about this home, which it's overpriced anyways, is that it is electric heat. Um, you're gonna have zones in every room. So you'll see the baseboards here. This is the heat baseboard for here. Not sure if you're familiar with how it works, but there's your dial. And that'll control the heat for out here. Then when you go to the next room, you saw there was one in the bathroom, there's a dial in the bathroom. This is the dining room. Right behind there is the, um, the electric baseboard heat and here's your dial for that one. Same out here, your heat is over there behind those two chairs, your dial is right there. So you can zone it and you can actually save in um, cost if you zone it appropriately, turn off the rooms that you're not in, but you will have to like preheat the bedrooms that you're gonna use and preheat the rooms that you're not in. So it could be costly if you leave everything on all the time. If not, you could actually save some money. Windows seem to be in good shape. This is the first of the spare bedrooms. Not a bad size, nice tall ceilings. And decent closet space. Second floor laundry, that's always nice. And your washer and dryer. What's in here? Hot water heater. There's no basement, so everything is stored here. And just a storage closet. 
hot water heater didn't look too bad. Moving down the hallway, here is the bathroom. Those are some slap and stick tiles. You can tell that they um, stuck them together. They didn't do the best job. Basic fixtures. Um, and shower. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. Moving into the master. King size bed, so nice to know. I don't know if you guys have a king or a queen size bed, but this room will fit a king size bed. Okay, with a sink. Um, uh, interesting, because <laughs> there's just a random sink in here. I would probably try to make that into a master of some sort, even if it's just a half bath that'll add value versus being just a sink over there. And a wall closet. And then this is the other spare bedroom. Pretty good size. This is the second largest room with some interesting doors. This house is okay. I would say it's overpriced. It lacks some charm. Um, I think so far my personal favorites of the day would be um, the first one for 32 grand and 119 um, uni Union. Maple Dell wouldn't let me in. Um, it's a short sale, but sometimes pre foreclosures people get a little funky. So I'm going to keep trying to get into that one and I'll let you know.